So welcome back to the channel and something slightly different from me this time. Um, this is a little Nanji tugboat that actually belongs to my dad and he started building this up in his retirement as something for him to do. Unfortunately his health has deteriorated and over the last couple of weeks we've been working to get him into a nursing home which involved emptying out his old flat and I decided to take an Angie boat model here and finish it off for him and hopefully I can get it down to him in some form of completed state for him to at least enjoy a little bit. So what I intend to do is produce some vlogs on this of the actual build which also gives my dad something to look at uh, to see how the build is progressing and I'm not sure what they'll be. There might be weekly vlogs, they might be two weekly vlogs. It depends how much time I get to actually work on the boat and uh, how much I get done to actually make it worthwhile producing a vlog on. So the model comes from Mobile Marine Models up in near Lincoln and what you see here in front of you is a little fiberglass tub that is the main part of the kit. Um, everything else comes as a set of drawings and little smaller packs and kits to provide the various items for the boat. My dad had already started on this, you can see he's cut out the ports and I've done a little bit of work on this here to tidy them up and rub them down. I've still got the other side to do over here and he'd also cut out, I uh, started cutting out the decks that will go inside um, in here and uh, another one for the back one uh, to go in here as well. Um, again they need to be cut to size to uh, be able to fit uh, but before I do that I do have a little bit more work to do inside the tub itself. Um, there's the more supports to glue along this side here and I'll do that once I've finished these little ports off over this side and then I've got the motor to mount and the running gear to put through. Um, I've also got to cut the tub for just here, I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, there's a uh, an anchor port there, both sides they need to be cut out and the little uh, anchor boxes glued on the inside. The main build of this seems to be based around cutting out the patterns for which you get a full set of patterns from mobile marine models and I'll show them in a minute and you then temporarily super glue those bits and pieces into place where you need them and then fill it in and support it with fiberglass. Um, so that's the main body. Um, oh, so I also have to uh, rub down the seams on this. So the seams need rubbing down and the whole body rubbing down ready for painting. Um, and that will be the actual tub then completed then the build kind of then moves on to all the ancillary components that are in pack form that I will show you now. So I guess this is the rest of the kit that arrives with the boat. Um, you can buy the bits and pieces as you want. Um, these are the funnels there, you make all these, cast them all and then you've just got to finish them all off and paint them. Um, some copper wire there for something, not sure what. Um, but you get other packs like this is the, a little hydraulic winch that goes on the boat. Um, so you get all the components inside that to make it up. I believe that's possibly another part of it as well. And then you get a little tow hook here. And each little pack comes with a, a set of instructions in it for you to build up the little contents within that pack. So the actual drive for this comes from electric motor and into a cork nozzle, uh, which is, I can't remember which way around that goes now, that goes that way around. Um, so that will be the drive that will sit in the bottom of the boat. Uh, I've started assembling this and this will need to be rubbing down and then painting. Um, I have hit a slight hindrance because the kit doesn't come with a propeller. Um, you have to order that separately from another company, which I've now ordered, but it's a three to six week delivery on the item um, so that might well hold me up a little bit because I believe before I can get all this in and final positioned I'll need to know where the propeller is going to sit inside the court um, so that I can position everything and glue it into the boat so until that arrives I don't think I can install this fully which means I can't put the decks in which means you can't really do any of the final assembly 
other than cutting parts out already in preparation. So that's what the vast majority of the, the next few vlogs will probably be on. Um, and what else? We've also got this celery's pack with this, I guess. Um, they make all these little castings as well. Um, at the at Mobile Marine Models, there's the little anchors uh, for the ports that I showed you earlier. And you get other bits and pieces, some little brass pieces that they obviously have machined up. Um, and then you've got other castings here. Uh, the little ladders. You've got sides. And the boys and parts. Work guides, little funnels. And all kinds of things to work your way through. So I'm not sure how well you can see this, but this is the main drawing that you get with the kit. Uh, that shows how a lot of it goes together from a, an overall point of view. And also, we spin him around. So and what you also get from the company, you get like a little sheet there that shows you the model, gives you an idea of one built up uh, and what they look like overall and the color scheme. And you get a couple of guides on the actual construction and construction techniques and also for the actual court nozzle installation uh, and rudder if you have it and um, this is a steerable court on this model so uh, it has no rudder uh, you've got those as a couple of sheets and then the remainder of the information is a, a set of plans so these are all the items that need cutting out of the plywood predominantly I believe 8 inch plywood uh, to cut out to make all the different items uh, decks uh, and so forth. There's all the, the access hatch and some of the framework uh, and there's the actual deck house there. And then at the end of this you get a couple of guidance sheets to show you how things are put together. So pretty comprehensive with all the information that you get. Now we have to build the model and the, the rest of it. You can obviously make the model your own uh, and add touches as you desire or cut things out or uh, change the colour schemes uh, pretty much whatever you want to do really. So that's pretty much it for this video um, I'll carry on cutting out some bits and pieces and getting some uh, other bits ready to be glued on. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next instalment.